Ronaldo is on his way back to the Premier League. Muchas gracias, afición. Este para vosotros. Sí! And he won't be coming alone because today we're going to find out if the Portuguese national team would win the Premier League using, of course, Wolves because they pretty much try to do it anyway. But he's joined by Bruno Fernandes, Joel Polina, Ruben Dias, Bernardo Silva, and many more. Can Roberto Martinez lead Wolves to the Premier League title? Find out now. So this is the team we have currently. So Diogo Costa is in goal. Ignacio is the left side of centre back. Pepe as the main centre back. Ruben Dias, Jarl Cancelo, Nuno Mendes, Vitinha, Bruno Fernandes, Bernardo Silva, Liao, Ronaldo. And of course, manager is Roberto Martinez. So this is this formation and slap team section I've picked. But obviously, Roberto Martinez can, can choose whatever. Uh, he might drop some players. He might put uh, in some players. And obviously, due to the rules of the Premier League, we do sort of have a few players that really shouldn't be here. For example, Ruben Vinagre, but he is homegrown, so that works out better for us in the registration rules. The same with Fabio Silva. The same with Fabio Carvalho, Ricardo Santos, Daniel Bentley and Tom King are also here. Uh, Domingo Schkine is here as well. Tommy Doyle's still here, but I don't know if he'll get any game time. But he has a few players that are in here just because of the homegrown nation thing. Because uh, the Premier League rules are like that. But yeah, this is the, the team we're going with. On the bench, got guys like uh, Jose Sar, Nelson Semedo, Joao Polina, Felix, Rafael Guerrero, Otavio, Fabio Silva, Antonio Silva, Diogo Jota, Rafael Camacho, Vinagre, Neves, Ricardo Santos from Bolton, of course. Uh, he's actually a very good player, I think, in the, in League One. I've seen him a few times. Decent player. Uh, where did he actually come from uh, in terms of Portuguese nationality? Did he come from anywhere? Oh, no, he's just started in Dagenham Redbridge. Fair enough. Uh, Ricardo Santos, uh, Fabio Carvalho, Pedro Neto, a uh, few guys, well, I've mentioned the guys on the reserves. Um, but yeah, if we take a look at the schedule, of course, we're in the FA Cup, Carabao Cup, and English uh, Premier League. Uh, no Continental Cups or anything like that. But we start off the Premier League with a game against Chelsea away, Brighton at home, Burnley, and then Newcastle, Crystal Palace. And then on the flip side, look at that month of October, United, Tottenham, City, Arsenal, and before that, Liverpool. Crazy. But we end off the season, Aston Villa, Luton, Everton. So I do think it will be difficult, but um, of course, Roberto Martinez is in charge. You know, he's got Premier League experience, done very well with teams like Wigan. Didn't do so well with Everton, like, if I remember correctly. Um, let's have a look at his previous experience. Yeah, so uh, Swansea, of course, did a very good job as well. Swansea, uh, Swansea, Wigan, Everton. Didn't do so well with Belgium. Remains to be seen how well he does in Portugal. He's been okay. I'm like, he's been, you know, he's been average. Like, there's nothing, there's, to be fair, there's nothing to judge him on yet. Um, so... I don't know, but he comes in, obviously he's just a manager, but I'll I'll delegate everything to, to himself and they won't make any signings, so I'll make sure that is delegated to myself. Uh, but yeah, let me know where you think Portugal will finish or Wolves will finish in uh, the Premier League. I think last time we did this with England, they finished like six. I think this team is maybe better than the England England team and all, obviously taking out like Ruben Dias, Bernardo Silva from City, uh, Pelini from Fulham as well. There's a few players that we've been taking from the Premier League, Jota from Liverpool, it does weaken them a bit. Are they going to finish higher than England? I would say maybe... I'm going to say fifth. So I think, I think England, we finished sixth with England. So I'm going to go fifth with Portugal. Uh, I think they can do it. But yeah, let me know if you enjoy videos like this. The last one did okay. Uh, but if you want to see more nations or different leagues or etc. Just let me know. Uh, I do love doing like football manager experiments like this. But first of all, before I get to simulating, please subscribe. It will mean the world to me. We're about, I think, three away from... Uh, 200 at this point so i really would appreciate if you could subscribe but yeah uh, anyway let's get to to simming i suppose and hopefully we get some silverware things started off good for portugal fc Bernardo silver scoring in a 4-0 win against brighton and brighton are no easy team to score against if you're ever playing fm but it's actually bernardo getting some and even ronaldo chipping in with a goal and bernardo silver was really the man of the hour getting another good assist from a great header from gonzalo nacio and taking it from manchester city Maybe what we need to climb up the table and also Man City to fall down it. The last goal would come from Bernardo Silva again to be in a man of the match performance. Speaking of great performances, this next win came against Liverpool. A 2-1 win with Liverpool man Diogo Jota scoring against his former club. And also, it was a very tight game. All these goals came in the last 10 minutes of the game. Luis Diaz ran here, put the ball into Cody Gakpo, who would score, who everyone thought would be the equaliser to end the game. But here comes Rafael Liao coming across the wing. Passing it back out to Guerrero, who would find Bernardo Silva to make it 2-1 in the last minute. But unfortunately, Liverpool would answer back in the very next game with a 6-0 battering of Wolverhampton. Unfortunately, Liverpool did not learn to forgive and forget. 
and it was Portugal who were on the wrong side. So we are back at the end of the season. I don't know how well I think this went, uh, to be honest, because the England one didn't go as well. And I don't know if like the like Roberto Martinez managed to keep the, the squad, like the registration rules, because obviously I left him in charge of everything. So he could have changed everything that I had saved. But who knows? Let's see where Portugal finished in the Prem. 10th. Okay, so it's not too far off where we finished with uh, England. Is there any surprise fate falling down? Luton, Everton, Bournemouth? No. No really any surprises there. That's the Villa make six over Tottenham, maybe. Newcastle all the way down. Arsenal winning the, the league. I reckon that's because Ruben Diaz and um, Bernardo Silva aren't there. Uh, we well, were runners up in the Carabao Cup, to be fair, and knocked out in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup to Leicester City. So we're still trophyless, basically, with these uh, nations as um, as like Premier League teams. But let's take a look at some of the squad first. Um, let's have a look. Cristiano Ronaldo, of course, one of the greatest of all time. Only 11 goals in 34 Premier League appearances. Not the worst, I suppose. What about someone like Rafael Leal, one of the up-and-coming stars? 15 goals, 31 games from the wing. That's actually very good, to be fair. Uh, Bruno Silva, obviously, Premier League veteran, is wanted as well by Chelsea and United. Fair enough. Five goals, 33 games. Who else would be interested? Bruno Fernandes, of course, Premier League regular. 37 games, five goals, five assists. Could be better. Um, let's see who else could do. What about Pepe? He's quite old. Well, he's already leaving. He's going to Al-Shabaab because, of course, he is. 30 games, to be fair, but Martinez kept him in. That's fine. What about Gonzalo Inacio? 36 games, uh, it's pretty good. Guys like Antonio Silva also on the bench. Uh, obviously, a very up-and-coming player. 26 games, so he played quite a lot. Uh, Jao Felix off the bench got 14 games and zero goals. That is not very good in the Prem. Um, let's have a look. Did Rafael Camacho get any burn? He's actually not that tired, but eight games in for Wolves. Uh, what about Ruben Vinagre? He looks very upset. Only four games for him. Um, Pedro Neto is injured, surprise he wants to leave because he's not getting any playing time uh, yeah, zero games in total not even in the, in the Cups so definitely not what I expected let's take a look at some of these schedules then we can have a bit more of an idea so we started off the campaign against Chelsea, a draw, which is good uh, so let, he pretty much played exactly the same team that we left, I didn't change anything oh no, he, he benched Bruno Fernandes for Jop, Lina and Vitinha so that's fine uh, then a 4 0 win against Brighton with Ronaldo scoring and getting injured. Was Ronaldo injured for a while? If we go to fitness, is um, what so it would have been a bruised ankle. So not the worst, I suppose. Uh, I did see it said determined to prove his worth. Has he got like bad negative press or something? Uh, he retired from international football. That's pretty crazy before the Euros. Um, what's tries hand at management? Is there anything? Because like it seemed like he was upset. Um, just determined to prove his worth to the team fair enough, uh, that's fine and then we beat Brighton like I said 4-0 lost to Burnley 4-0, that's crazy Diego Costa dropping a 6.0 uh, Ronaldo dropping a 5.9 we did beat Salford which is good what about any other results here we've got 2-0 uh, to Crystal Palace uh, Tottenham 2 all is not the worst result in the world uh, we should beat Bournemouth Sheffield United uh, there's not really too any other shocking results, I would say. A uh, free loss against Chelsea, uh, two one winning against Liverpool. I say it's quite shocking. Diego Jota and Bernardo Silva in the last minute. To be fair, they, it was a last minute sort of game. Uh, then we beat Swansea in the Carabao Cup, then the FA Cup. So Roberto Martinez getting wins over his former team there. Uh, then lost six 0 to Liverpool as a result of the, the beat. And then we lost. We beat Newcastle three one, which is good as well. Beat Tottenham two one. Uh, was spanked by City five 0 in March. And yeah, everything is pr pretty much where I expected it to be. Didn't think we finished low as uh, 10th, but it is what it is. So if we go to home, we can see the top goal scorer was Rafael Leal with 18 goals. Highest average rating, Rafael Leal. Most sister, Joao Cancelo. Best pass completion, Antonio Silva. Most player match awards, Nuno Mendes, Leal, Bernardo Silva, Joao Cancelo. Uh, Pelini with the most yellow cards. Cancelo with two reds, fair enough. Finances, though, if you were to carry on, 28 million. Obviously, the wage budget is crazy. Uh, nothing in Dev Center, as I would imagine. Um, transfers, so just Pepe leaving, that's fine. No one else really cared, like no one else really wanted any other players. A few of them wanted, to be fair, so they could go. Camacho is wanted by Preston. Carlson is wanted by Preston. Did he get any minutes? Because, you know, he's not that bad. He, he got zero, so never mind. 
Um, but yeah, there's a few players wanted. But what did you think of this save? Did you think they should have done better? Was it the formation maybe? Was it the manager? To be fair, they were playing with like a 40-year-old Pepe. Is he still high enough for the top level? There's only two stars in relation, uh, relative to the team. So uh, if we were just to pick like the best, uh, without restriction, best XI now, yeah, it goes into Inacio, Ruben Diaz, Antonio Silva. Everything else pretty much says the same. Actually, Jota gets dropped as well for uh, CR7, which is uh, pretty crazy. But yeah, let me know what you thought of this idea. Who should I do it with next? Where did you think they were going to finish? What actually happened? You know, that's crazy. I didn't think they finished that low. But uh, anyway, I've been South Second. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Um, peace. <laughs>